We just got home to some samples for sweats. Um, Jake was just trialing a few different new fabrics and colors, so just ignore like the logo that's on it. Is that a logo? Yeah. 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 Like the print that's on it. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you guys a little behind the scenes See of the goes. samples. Usually the samples are pretty good from our factory, to be honest. Um, it usually only takes like one to two goes, which is great, but sometimes the pre-production sample ends up different to like the actual final um, production, like our bulk stock, so that's really annoying. Um, but yeah, it's just like part of business, I suppose. So Jake's just <laughs> replying, <laughs> messaging the people. Um, I really want to see them, get them out. I want you to try them on. Huh? I want you to try them on. <laughs> that's a vibe. I love that gray. It's gray. Yeah. Is that the cozy fabric or a different uh, fabric? A new it's one? Different. Yeah. It's a bit different, but I'll probably cozy stuff. So. Cozy as well. Okay. Yeah. See so you're on. So that says it on the back, obviously. Milo's like whining outside because he had an accident inside, so he's in trouble, if you guys can hear that. Yeah. That fits pretty nicely. The sleeves are a bit puffy though, and the logo's too low and big. And too low and big. Too low and big. The front looks nice though. So it's... Don't you reckon? Like that looks weird. Yeah. It's kind of hard for you to see. Is it in the chocolate? Thoughts? It's definitely not dark enough. Yeah, you want it like a deeper chocolate, low. hey? Yeah, I want it to be like dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah like so borderline yeah. black. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That sucks. Yeah, that's right though. That sticky stuff on the back good? No. No? <laughs> no. Is that wrong? Yeah. They need to print it so it's, it's like a part of the fabric. Oh yeah. Not like just slapped on. Yeah. Not like rubbery. Whatever. Yeah, because that looks like it's like peeling off almost. Yeah, it looks like terrible quality. <laughs> Jake, oh. you're such a neg. He's so sick, and he's being a little neg. They're actually good. Like the fabric and everything feels really good, and there's only a few changes that need to be made, so that's fine. A few more rounds of sampling, and you'll be ready to go. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I am praying that this is in focus right now. I actually filmed this before, and the whole thing wasn't in focus. I got a new camera. It's literally the exact same camera, the Canon Mark II, but for some reason the settings are like all different, and yeah, this one does not want to focus, so I don't know if I just got a dud or not, because yeah, my other one is so good, and yeah, this one is just being a pain in my butt, so here we go again. Hi, hey, hello, how are you? Um, so I have a really exciting week this week. We are actually, like there's a few exciting things happening. First one being we are actually moving all of our stock to a fulfillment center, which I am so excited about. Um, we didn't actually ever intend on doing this. We really wanted to get our own warehouse and have employees working out of the warehouse and all that sort of fun stuff. But then um, these guys actually ended up reaching out to us and they work with a lot of other businesses that I know of. And yeah, I just feel like it just like fit really well. And yeah, they're really lovely. We just gelled really nicely. We had a meeting with them and yeah, we're just really excited um, to have them fulfilling our orders instead. And it just makes more sense for us because when we buy a warehouse, we want it to be like a really creative and fun space. So we want to have the focus on a photo shoot area and then we have all of our marketing and social media and everything run out of it. Jake and I had a chat and we figured that this was definitely the best option for us because if we do buy a warehouse, we want it to be a really fun creative space so we can just have photo shoots and have the marketing team there and for it to be really clean and just like really organized. Um, without the warehouse portion there and yeah, we discussed like the rates and everything with the fulfillment center and they actually work out Really well for us way better than if we were to have a warehouse ourselves and employ our own staff, etc And they have amazing systems in place and everything like that. So yeah, they're across it all um, They're really good at what they do So yeah, we're gonna do that instead and I feel like it just makes so much more sense for us because it also means that Jake and I have the freedom to travel wherever we want as well like if we want to go overseas um, Once COVID's over of course then we don't have the stress of having a warehouse um, or having to fulfill orders either we can have that be done by them which is just amazing so yeah that's why we have decided to do that I know you guys wanted more business talk and behind the scenes so I figured I would 
fill you in on why we decided um, to go with that option. It was really fun packing our own orders, but Jake literally can't keep up. Obviously, he does them daily as well, but when he has a launch or something, then the next few days are just crazy, and it means he can't get anything else done, and he needs to have the time to work on future collections and stuff. So that's why we are doing it that way, and yeah, it just makes way more sense for us, especially because we do want to move down to the Gold Coast, like most of you guys would know. Then it'll just make our lives so much easier, because originally, like for the past year and a half, we've been looking for a house so that we could hold all of our stock still, but now we don't need to do that. We can just look for an apartment or something smaller, so that'll be really good. I'm so excited, and I feel like even though we've had no luck in the house department yet, I feel like it's because the universe was like, you're not ready, like we needed to get rid of this sort of thing first. And now that that is almost done, as of tomorrow, I'm so excited. Um, it means that I feel like things will start falling into place. So I'm really excited for that to happen. And they're also based in Corumbin, which is super close to where we want to live, obviously, being down at the Gold Coast. So it all just like, it all just makes sense. So that's why we're doing that. Um, so Jake's actually got to go pick up the truck this afternoon and load it up. So he's determined to do it all on his own. So I don't need to help him, which is amazing for me. I'm actually getting a clonic, which I'm so excited about slash nervous. Um, you guys gave me so many recommendations about my skin the other day. So thank you so much for that in my Sydney vlog. I feel like after Sydney, I just feel like that little bit heavier and just like my digestive um, system hasn't been functioning as well as it could. And I've had a lot of friends go there and recommend it. So yeah, I'm really excited to just experience it. If I don't like it, that's fine. If I do like it, then that's amazing. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous for that and I'll bring you guys along for like, obviously not the process, but I'll let you guys know. I'll give you a little debrief at the end. Um, so yeah, that's fun. And then tomorrow, it's a very exciting day as well. I'm actually getting my composite bonding done finally. I am so excited. I was actually meant to get this done. Well, I've meant to be getting it done for like the longest time, but I was meant to get it done around my birthday and the Cali Swim launch time. But then obviously that was such a hectic time for me. So we had to postpone it. And then I was meant to get it done two weeks ago. And then I, it totally like slipped my mind because obviously we were meant to get it done months ago. I was meant to get it done months ago that um, you're not actually meant to whiten your teeth within 48 hours at the absolute minimum of getting the procedure done. And when I got there, Dr. Nile was like, when was the last time you whitened your teeth? And I was like, last night. And he was like, oh my gosh, like we can't do it. So we had to reschedule for tomorrow, two weeks later. So that's really exciting. I cannot wait for it. I'm not sure if I have told you guys about it or not before, but yeah, basically I'm going to Dr. Nile from Oasis Dental in Broad Beach. Talia went there and got hers done and they look incredible. So yeah, I thought... What better place to go than to go there? Um, as some of you may know, I have porcelain veneers on the top of my teeth. So those are porcelain. And then the reason I'm getting composite rather than porcelain along the top is, first of all, the price difference. Porcelain bonding, I mean porcelain veneers, sorry, cost me $14,000. The composite bonding only costs like 3.8, I think. Obviously it varies depending on person, but that's how much it is for me personally. And then you don't see your bottom teeth as much, so I just didn't really feel the need to get something so expensive in case I don't really like it. One second. <laughs> so yeah, I just didn't really feel the need to get something that's so expensive just in case I don't like it, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I will. Um, and it's also less invasive as well. So porcelain veneers, obviously you have to get your teeth grinder down majority of the time. Whereas with composite bonding, you don't need to get your teeth grinder down. Well, I don't need to anyway. So that's really good. And then I'm not like trying to encourage anyone to get it done. I'm just giving you guys an explanation as to why I'm doing it personally. I've always wanted it done. It's a massive insecurity of mine um, ever since I was younger. So genetically, I have really little teeth. Like you guys can see, like they're straight, um, but you obviously can't magically make them bigger unless you get something like composite bonding um, or veneers done. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, I just I just love like big teeth, big smiles, and I didn't get blessed with that. So that's why I'm getting that done. And then if I do want to later on down the track, I can always go in and get the porcelain veneers done along the bottom, but I'm just gonna do the composite for now and then just like, see what I want to do, you know? So I'm going to do that first because, yeah, it's like less invasive and everything. But if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I can uh, do my best to answer them for you. I know that composite bonding, of course, isn't as good as porcelain. Like, they're not going to be as white. They're not going to be as hard or sturdy and I'll need to get them done sooner. But I did get my porcelain veneers done like three years ago now. So hopefully by the time I need them redone, it'll be around like the same period maybe and then I can get them 
all done we'll just see but yeah i'll keep you guys updated on how i go and how i like them and everything but yeah massive insecurity of mine so i'm excited to have that all fixed up i hate like seeing myself talking on camera especially with what i do for work um and then seeing my little baby chomp is just sticking out there so you guys will notice that now in this video and all of my old videos before i go i thought i'd give you guys a little update on the living area situation so i've just moved it over there and then i feel like it looks really good there and then i've also just moved the mirror to here instead and i actually love it there it's like totally not stable but it'll do i feel like it's like a nice new little pick spot for selfies or whatever um but this is just my little comfy outfit of the day obviously this is a sample it's meant to fit jake so it's super oversized i just have on my season active tights and then my yeezy slides as well and i always get questions about where i got these from and i got them off stock x um so yeah, I feel like there's some other places in Australia and stuff you can get them from, but yeah, that's just where I got them from. And then it goes out to the sewage system. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am back. That was the wildest experience ever. Oh my God, I feel like I wasn't warned for half of that, but basically I just went in, it was super lovely. I went to wellness at Wilston, um, which is where Shani and my friend Mimi go, and also my friend Tasha has been before as well. So I went there, have heard really good things about it. Um, and yeah, they basically like, you have to show up like, if there's any guys watching this, please stop. Not that I think there will be, but yeah. They basically like you like lube your butt and then you put this little thing up it and you're like set up on this chair and then you can like see everything like flush out of you. Um, and she was like in there with me for like the first push or whatever until it came out just to make sure I was like doing it properly. So yeah, basically like the best way to explain it is it feels like like how my friends explained it to me as well is that it feels like you're about to shit yourself like if you've got like diarrhea or something like you know how you feel like you've got to go like that sort of feeling basically the water flushes up inside you and then you get that feeling or like that sensation and then you just like have to push and then it like all comes out and then sometimes it's just water coming back in and out sometimes it is that um so yeah that was a really great experience and i don't know if i'll do it again i mean technically i don't have any like legit reason for going except for like a bit of loading in my sydney trip but once i've done it i might go back one more time um and then i'll probably leave it at that so yeah if you guys have any like health issues though um it's really good for that or just like a general sort of thing like what i just did so yeah, that was an experience. I just got a package from Casetify. I've been waiting for these phone cases. Sorry, I was too excited and opened it all up. I just put this one on my phone because I love how slim it is. And even though my Milo one is super cute, the one with the dash hand on it, um, it's not really the best for selfies. Like, I feel like it just doesn't really suit like my Instagram aesthetic that well. So I've got a nice clear one. And I feel like that's really cute. I think this is one of the ultra impact cases. So these ones you can actually drop from up to 9.8 feet, which is insane. Um, so both the impact and the ultra impact cases are made with a technology called chi tech Which means you can drop them. So the impact case you can actually drop um, I think it's like up to 6.6 .6 feet and then the ultra impact is 9.8 which is crazy They also have an antimicrobial um, coating on the cases as well. So that makes them 99% germ free um, and they are also made from 50% recycled fibers as well. So we love a brand. We love supporting brands that support the planet. You know, you guys would have heard me mention this so many times before, but they honestly have so many different designs. I feel like this one is so cute. I love like the colors on it. Growth is a process. This one I've actually had before, but it just had like the plain clouds, but this one says focus on the good and it has like a mirror on the back, which I thought was super cute. And then I just got like this little beige like leather one, which is really cute as well. Um, so yeah, they honestly have so many different designs. They have something for everyone on there. I can honestly scroll on their website for hours and hours and hours. I'll actually do a little um, drop test for you real quick just to show you guys. Like they literally do not break. They're the best. Um, but yeah, if you guys do want to get your hands on any of the Casefy phone cases, you can actually save 15% off if you head to www.casefy.com forward slash alley and that will give you 15% off. Like you guys can see, there are so many incredible options to choose from online. They have so many different designs. You can select your um, phone style, etc., and then just customize it depending on what you want. Why are you copying me? Wait. <laughs> Um, I was just telling Jake about my clinic. 
Do you think you'll go do it? Do they give a good demo? I'm breaking up with you. You're breaking up with me? Your hair's pulling down. What are you making? Uh, I'm absolutely never doing that. Anymore. Why not? It'd be it's funny. <laughs> You'll try to put like lube on a arm. Um. That sounds like. <laughs> lube on like this stick thing. Oh no, you, well, sorry, you put the lube in your butt first. I'd love to pay for that. It sounds great. Yeah. These are the ingredients for my dinner. Jake went and got groceries and he literally keeps forgetting stuff that I tell him to buy. I literally sent him a full list the other day. I only asked him to get two things. I forgot what they were, but one of them was, let's just say one was bread and then the other was tomatoes and he got home and he was like, I forgot the tomatoes. So today he forgot my vegan cheese. Um, so I'm just gonna have to make this without, but basically I'm just kind of like chopping up all the veggies and cooking them with the rice and like chicken stock with the kidney beans. So yeah, I'll show you it when it's all done. I'm also just gonna add in this um, textured vegetable protein for protein, and then obviously I have like the kidney beans as well. But yeah, I'll just show you guys when it's all done. I just wanted something that was like super hearty and filling, and yeah, I just wanna fuel my body with the good stuff. But yeah, this should be quick and easy as well, which is great because I've still got lots to do tonight. And then I can just easily microwave this for other meals during the week as well. And voila, she's actually looking pretty good considering Jake forgot the cheese. So I just ended up using some of the cheese slices that I had and just cut them up nice and small. But yeah, that's it. So it's basically just like rice, veggies, vegetable stock, kidney beans, soy textured protein. And then I also just added some guac on top. And I'm really excited to eat this. I wouldn't usually add the guac on top, but because Jake forgot the cheese, I... I'm improvising. I also added in some nutritional yeast as well. I don't love nutritional yeast, but I just added in a tiny bit to the rice portion just to make it like a little bit creamier. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. It is currently 7.10, so I am signing off for the evening. I'm gonna go upstairs and watch Homeland. I've been obsessed with Homeland at the moment. This is my little outfit of the day. I just have my Jordans on. These ones are from Culture Kings, black tights, and then just a plain black crew neck. Nice and moody to suit the weather today. It's meant to be rainy for like the next four or five days. And we've actually just gone into lockdown. So that's for the next three days, which is fun. So my um, teeth appointment actually ended up getting canceled. So I feel like it just keeps getting postponed. So I absolutely don't love that for me. Um, but yeah, I'm scheduled in for next Wednesday now instead. So fingers crossed, I actually <laughs> finally get them done next Wednesday. The suspense is killing me. I just can't wait to have them done. Um, but yeah, we're still going down today because it is work related and we've had this planned for weeks now and we're not gonna be actually having any physical touch with anyone, we're just gonna kind of rock up with the truck, offload it, and yeah, we won't actually be in contact with anyone. So yeah, work stuff is fine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <sighs> Bye, possum. Love you. Behave yourself. It is very rainy today, but we're finally taking all of the stock. This is our little higher moving <laughs> truck. And then this is all of the stock in here. We've just got it, we've left it in all of the tubs just because it's so much easier, but there's like, here are boxes at the back there. And yeah, it's finally moving day. I'm so excited. Show you guys the inside. I haven't even seen the inside yet. Oh, cute. It's just so fun. Freaking. <laughs> Imagine if you were a truck driver. <laughs> Stop. Woo! We're on, boys. This is like so boys. weird. It's, it's like weird, it's like auto. The yeah. The steering wheel is like out in front. Yeah. Is it sunny? Oh, I'm embarrassing you. We just wrapped up with Jordy and Kayla. Yes. <laughs> Jordy and Kayla. Um, so well, how long did that take? That actually ended up taking a while. We ended up going through all of the... What did we go through? Just all the boring shit. You guys don't want to know. Yeah. My head's about to explode. Just trying um, to wrap our head around everything. Yeah, but basically um, it's really good though because they will pack... If you've like ordered before 9am then your order will go out that day. So 
that's amazing. Like if you ordered like the night before, um, then yeah, anything order before 9am the next day will go out that day. Pretty much it'll just be way quicker. Way than what faster we're than what we were and doing. And more efficient. So, and yeah, more so efficient. Good. It gives us more flexibility and freedom <sighs> to do everything else yeah, that we need to do. Yeah, even like launches when you get such a huge so influx of orders. Yeah. Huge in, like amount of orders. Like for us, it'll take sometimes yeah, days like to get days, through, but yeah. like to, for them, they'll smash it out in the morning. Yeah. So like, it'll be so so much quicker, so much more so efficient, much so much better for you guys. We want our customer service and experience yeah. to be epic. So yeah, yeah I'm sick of like consumer. people having to wait days. Just yeah, I can't because get through. Can't get through them all. So it'll be really good. We're excited. A really good business move. Blessed. And the, the fit is really good. So us. we're so excited to finally like yeah. be out of our garage and into like. I know. It's one step. So good. One step. Uh, Towards moving. Towards moving to Woo! the coast. So we need to figure out if you want to get food. I'm starving, but I have this big truck, so. Yeah. Yeah, we can't even go through a drive through and we can't no. go in anywhere, so we might. Can't go in anywhere. We're going to have to get home with COVID. Oh, they're they closed. Yeah, they would be. Closed. It's, it's not yeah. essential to eat food, yeah. is it? So we're gonna gas at home now. Wow, yeah. I'm starving. Okay. I know. Gas at home and then eat. Unfortunately for us, <laughs> all of the drive-throughs are open, but we can't fit the truck through. So I just stopped in at the Caltex and got us these chicken wraps. I wanted one of the um, like vegan. What are they called? The vegan egg and lettuce ones, but they didn't have any. Um, and then I also just got us these brownie bites from you foods and then these to try that one's a plant-based protein shake and then this one's just a nice long black we're literally missing out on zarafas red rooster noodle box sushi but it's all right oh, oh losing the special precious cargo fucking hell oh, you're right oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god this thing is so bumpy. Today is a very exciting day I'm actually spending the next two days planning future collections and just sampling um, things that I've been meaning to sample for ages. So finally getting to the bottom of my to-do list. There's no real sneak peeks in here. Oh, there's like one to two. Um, this fabric here was like a potential swim fabric. Yeah, I'm just going back through everything. I had all of this stuff, um, all these different fabrics because I really want to do a sarong, but these ones just all aren't, they're not quite it. So I just need to go back to sampling those again. I won't show you guys too much because I obviously don't want to give anything away. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be up to today. So I just wanted to fill you guys in and I'll show you guys anything that I can, but I'm not 100% sure what I will be able to show you or not. I'm going to attempt to make at home Crunchwrap Supremes. I have wanted to do this for ages and I wanted to do it way better, but I honestly can't be bothered. So I'm just going to kind of slap all this together and then I'll show you guys it when it's all done. But I just got Tomato, lettuce, I got these to put in instead of um, like just like a crunchy tortilla thing. And then I'm going to make some spicy cheese sauce with this and the sriracha. And then I'll probably use some of this. I'll probably use this for like the filling um, for like the beef part. Just checking in. I've actually had such a productive day, which I'm really excited about. I've literally planned two new swim collections. I have planned my next photo shoot, um, the run sheet, everything like that, models, photographers, locations, and yeah, all of the works basically. So I'm very impressed with myself. I use Millanote. I've shown you guys before, um, but yeah, it's just like a website called Millanote to plan all of my shoots and mood boards and everything like that. And it is so handy. So if you guys run a business or even just want a mood board for anything, like even like a I don't know, like a vision board or something. It's great for that as well. So yeah, it's super helpful. Um, and it just like helps me like lay out everything that I have up in my head. Um, so yeah, really happy with today's efforts. I'm gonna keep going now, but I just wanted to give you guys a little check-in because it's now four o'clock and I haven't checked in at all today. I wish I could show you guys what I've been working on but you guys will just have to wait and see um, but I thought I'd show you this anyway so this is just shit I'm not meant to show you guys that sorry <laughs> okay I'm gonna show you guys Miller note really quickly so basically this is like sort of the platform and then you can create a new where is it a new board I just want to like show you guys how easy it is to use so you can like name it something and then down here you can do like 
for example, a mood board. And then it'll come up with this template or you can do, what are the other templates? There's some really good ones like photo shoot, product, mm, photography maybe, photo shoot plan. This one's really cool. And then you could like use that template and you have like inspo, mood board about the project, um, workflow. So like how the day is gonna go, the shoot and stuff, etc. So yeah, it's super handy and it actually is free for the first, um, like up to a certain amount of storage on it. So yeah, definitely a really good um, website to use. Good morning, guys. We have had a pretty chilled morning this morning. We just took Milo for a walk in the rain. And why did I just say that's so weird? I don't know. We took him for a walk in the rain. <laughs> it wasn't rainy when we left, but it ended up pouring down on us. And then today's task is getting all of my ads done for my digital marketing. So basically, um, this is like another really great way to use Millenote. So basically I've got the different types of ads. I'm not sure if it's like focusing. So this one is like target international orders, um, free shipping on all, yeah, I can't read through the tiny screen. Free shipping on all international orders over $200. So I've just mocked this one up in Canva. And then this one, um, target $15 off first order. Um, and then it obviously has the caption there and then the image and then there's just like another caption version as well. This one here is free domestic shipping on any order. Um, so that'll just target people that have already been to the website before and just need a little bit more incentive. And then there's the one I mocked up in Canva there. This one is retargeting. Um, so yeah, we miss you. And then yeah, these are all of them here. And then obviously like, um, it's back in stock. This is getting restocked on Monday. Um, so yeah, I've just mocked up some of those for that as well. Another interesting fact about digital marketing with like a swimwear brand is that Facebook actually doesn't approve a lot of images. So I need to be really careful with the images that I do choose to use. Um, these ones we've all used before, I think. So they're fine, except for this one might not get approved just because if it's showing like too much skin, they don't get approved. I've literally had images. Um, like these ghost images not be approved by Facebook before, like even though it's literally just the bikini against a white background. So yeah, it's quite interesting and annoying at the same time. So these I'll send over to our digital marketing agency and then get them to run the ads. But so far, so good. Jake's doing a Q&A on his Instagram story and someone asked to see his shoe collection. Just a couple. Do not get just really clean. <laughs> Has just a few. Always wanting more. Those are your new ones there, right? We need more. You need more. Okay. I feel like he's out of control. Someone needs to take his card off him. I just finished mocking up all of my uh, Instagram story ones now. So the ones I was showing you guys before. Um, that is for like in-feed posts. Whereas this one is for... Instagram stories. So I've got $15 off your first order when you sign up, free express shipping, using free ship, $15 off your order. So that's like a retargeting one. So that's someone that's already been to the website before and didn't purchase, but it retargets them with a discount um, of $15 off. Um, best sellers, restocked, new arrivals. And then that's just like a kind of exposure one. And then that one is the one for free express worldwide shipping so yeah i do that all in canva canva is incredible um i've spoken about it a bit lately but yeah so glad that's all done it is so time consuming oh those ones are all old um but yeah glad these are done they look really good i just got some pr from max media lab and this actually smells really nice so i thought i'd show you it's one of the new scents i actually don't know if it's new or not but actually smells quite nice so that I'd share the bottle's real cute kind of reminds me of the smell of my brother's girlfriend though so I might even give this to her um because I feel like that'll really suit her her vibe but yeah it smells really good I also got some more of these zit stickers from a different PR company and the only reason I'm showing you guys again because I think I already showed you the other day is because they actually work like I'm so impressed with these I've used them twice now on blind pimples luckily I haven't had any more I've been fortunate enough not to have to use them again but yeah they're really good so if you guys have been wondering definitely give them a try because I put them on yeah my blind pimple and then yeah two hours later it was just like fully gone which is just crazy so 
very excited about getting an extra PR box of this because then it means I'm nice and stocked up. We also just stopped in at the post office and I got um, these that I'd ordered. So I got the new Virtue um, hair care range. I don't think it's new. I think it's been around for a while. But yeah, my hairdresser Angel recommended it. And then I also got this Christoph Robin uh, hair mask. It's like a blonde baby blonde. I don't really know exactly what it is, but it's meant to make your hair um, a really nice creamy blonde. So she recommended that. And then I also ran out of my collagen, my liquid collagen. So I got some more of that. And then I ordered this all myself, like paid for it all myself off of Rye Beauty. Um, I actually was doing a collaboration with them a while ago on my Instagram stories and I'd never heard of them before until now. And now I've been buying from them myself because the stuff is just so good. It's just like really reasonably priced. Um, but they also chuck in like a bunch of free stuff. I don't really know what that is, but they also included this. And then, yeah, I just feel like like a really good place um it's where i get all of my olaplex stuff from as well they always have it in stock and they usually have discount codes as well which i love um and then i also just got um some new dresses from baby boo so i got like the shorter version of the long dress that i have i also got this really cute like white summery dress and then i got like this chocolate dress as well which you guys can't really see but yes just a little bit of online shopping to keep me occupied during mini lockdown and look what just arrived literally just then i didn't think this was going to come in time i thought like it had been delayed until monday so which is perfect because jake and i are actually staying away at the carlisle on sunday um because restrictions lift tomorrow which is saturday what are you eating milo um, maybe we'll see but hopefully they're still ending tomorrow on Saturday which means we can still go away Sunday night and I'm basically just going to shoot content and I ordered this stuff um, to shoot so I'll grab it out and show you guys what I got. I only got a few things um, but I got this dress it's like a collared dress and then it has the adjustable sort of um, front bit here so you can like ruche it up and make it look all cute and then I also got these faux leather pants they look like black on a camera but they're like a chocolate like a really deep brown and then i got this cute little one piece it's got like a cutout in the middle with the gold detailing and then i actually have this top in the white so when i saw it in the black i had to get that as well i think the black is so nice it's such a nice fitting um top and it goes with so many different things um so really excited to have that and then i also got these bags they're so cute i love this style at the moment and i'm not spending five thousand dollars on a bodega one because that is a waste of money so pretty little thing have absolutely come through um i know that it's not the exact same but yeah i just love like this vibe like they're really big chunky bags I think they're super cute and just like really dark an outfit rainy friday night calls for some knocky i don't always try and do this with one hand and i fail every single time oh my god this is gonna taste like proper shit um because we have no good italian places around here but i mean beggars can't be choosers so this is a tiramisu Quite yum. I've heard the Noki Noki brothers. I've heard mixed reviews to be honest. There's some bread in there. I just buttered the bread and toasted it, and this is actually so good. I'm very impressed. Very dangerous. Hey guys, I'm really hoping that I'm in focus. I've been having some serious issues with this camera, so fingers crossed. Um, but it is Sunday today. We've officially exited lockdown, our little mini four day lockdown in Brisbane. Um, so Jake and I actually already had this reservation at Hellenica. Sorry, not Hellenica. I always get that wrong. At the Carlisle. Um, so we're staying there tonight and then I think we're actually going to extend it for an extra night just because why the frick not we've now gotten rid of all of our stock so we don't have to pack orders so we can work from anywhere which is exciting so we can just work at the hotel by the pool even so that'll be really nice um so yeah that's the plan for today we went to the gym we actually ended up going to the gym last night at six once the lockdown ended so we went there um did a workout that was really good and then i was the only one at the gym this morning bright and early at 6 a.m i've literally never been there before with no one else there so that was definitely a first um and yeah had a really good workout this morning as well and then we took milo for a walk and just like sorted our lives out basically but yeah we're gonna head 
to the car loud now i thought i'd bring you guys along and just include it in this video even though it's like technically going to be like next week but that's okay um uh, we're actually going to stop in at the shops to get some things and i also really want to get my ears pierced um so i have these ones on this side Are you okay she's <laughs> like bringing my luggage down um so yeah i have my thirds and then I can't remember the names, but those two there on that side. And I really want to get the same on this side. Um, so I have my thirds, but I really want to get like the two up the top. And then I think I also really want to get um, my fourths done on this side. Just for a bit of fun, you know. And I actually ended up ordering some more... Um, like pretty earrings and stuff last night because I'm honestly so lazy with my ear piercings. I usually just leave the gold ones in and then just change out like the bottom ones, but I really want to have some cute ones in there all the time. So um, yeah, I ordered some last night. So they'll be here next week. I'll show you guys which ones I get in next week's vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for that. Not excited to get no sleep for the next like two weeks while it heals though. Um, on this side, they literally hurt so much. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along for that. I also really want like that bit there, you know, like in here. I'd love to get that pierced too, but I feel like that would really, really hurt. So I might save that one for later. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head off now. Yeah, I know. I got these on Uber Eats yesterday. <laughs> Cause I really, well, obviously you can't. Yeah, the I have to. most random, like two I know, I did, I did. Well, I showed you guys these when I got them in the vlog the other day and they're actually really yum. So, um, I had to get something Uber Eats from the Caltex or BP or wherever last night. So I got these as well. So guys, we need your opinion. Well, we don't really, but we'd like it. <laughs> um, do you guys prefer the black logo across the back or the white? I feel like obviously it's going to be for guys. Um, what do you reckon? I kind of uh, like the black hair. I think I like the black just because like... It goes, goes with like black shorts and stuff. And heaps of people just wear like black. Yeah, I feel like it's more it's comfortable, I um, guess. Like the grey and white does look... It does look nice. nice. And good, but I think that would probably go with more, I reckon. Yeah, it goes with more. Yeah, it a bit more. Where is it? Is it? Is it yeah, really red? Yes, yeah, super red. Oh no, so those and then my four. So I need to put my... You guys probably can't hear me. I need to get my other earrings back in. Peace, did it hurt? Yes. Really? Oh, you you took it like a champ. Yeah, I did. I was like quiet. I was like mm, on the inside. Good job. Thank you. We have arrived, so we're just gonna check in and then go grab some lunch. Honestly, How are you feeling? so frustrating having these masks on all the time. <laughs> um, yes, I have fresh tan on, which is why I look so red. I haven't washed it off yet. It look a little bit crazy, um, but yeah, what are we gonna get? I think um, sushi or like that salad place, Botanica Blood. Oh, if it's open, I don't know if it'll be open. Yeah, oh, we need to up. Maybe some sushi. I'm so some hungry. Sushi? We have just checked in, and the room is so beautiful. I love this room. The pool's just out there. I'll show you guys it in a second. Um, I've shown these so many times before, but oh my god, in here they literally have the yummiest. It's like a chocolate brownie. Oh, really? these ones? Yeah, do you remember these that I used to buy? <laughs> so good. It's not focusing, but what brand is that? Della Mano. They are. are vegan ones? Um, no, I think those ones are normal, but they do have vegan ones you can like buy online and they're so good. So I will be having one of those. Um, this is like the bathroom, which is stunning. I guess wearing like this set from Bow and Tea. Um, I think it just launched like a few days ago, but we're gonna get some food now. Princess. I'm so excited. Um, I haven't haven't eaten yet today. Fun fact. So gonna go get something to eat. We think we're gonna get what are we gonna get? Um, Salad or sushi, sushi or grilled? I think Jake wants grilled. grilled, but I really want to get some pickle for dinner tonight. So. Oh really? Yeah, cause um I wanted to book in at same same, but they already booked out the earliest reservations at 9 p.m., which True. I feel like yeah, well, just isn't gonna work for we'll us. Save the burger for later. So I'm thinking we'll do the pickle for dinner, sushi or something lighter now, um, cause it's already like three o'clock, and then we'll get same same tomorrow night. Let's do it. And then outside, this is our beautiful view. Honestly, just so stunning here and such a vibe every day of the week, but especially on a Sunday afternoon. Hey, 
We're just somewhere on James Street. I don't know the name of this place. Oh my god, they have like those flower thingies. We're gonna have to stop in here before we go home. These, Jake, you like stuff what? them? Zucchini you flowers? No, you can stuff them. Oh, <laughs> you stuff them. You're funny. What are they? Oh, edible flowers? Cute. So many like fun things. What are those? Pistachio and hazelnut. Look, oh, pancakes. Oh, oh, oh. plant based chocolate ripple. It's <gasps> ice pancakes. cream. Yum. And then this, like, I love like sauces, and they literally have like that one looks so yum. Dill mayo, radish cream. Salad oh, those look good. That Mediterranean one looks yum. Wow, so much fun stuff. Oh, stop. Noki. House baked garlic croutons. Honestly, if I lived near somewhere like this, it would be very dangerous for my bank account and my body. We got the carrot and chickpea one, the potato one, and then the last one on the end there, it's like a pumpkin and brown rice and like soy sauce one. It's really good. And then we just got tuna and avo sushi, chicken and avo sushi, and bless Jake, he's just gone down to the car because we actually have like the teriyaki sauce and mayo, like a massive stash of them in the car from all the times we go to sushi train. So he's gone to go grab those out of the car so we can have it with our sushi because it's just not the same without it. I haven't actually had the potato one before, so I'm gonna give her a well. Back with the goods. Yeah. <clears throat> An essential. One's kind of like open. Good. Oh no. Yeah. Already used? Five. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Thought I'd quickly show you guys what I got from the shops while we were there. I just got a new screen protector. Nothing too interesting. I got some of these like flashlights. I saw a TikTok on them. And they're literally like two dollars each. Um for like picks. So how fun. They just like turn on like that. Got some batteries for them. These are probably the worst possible batteries you can buy, but we never use batteries, so. Um, also got some of this. Um, I wanted like plastic, but I actually have a heap of beads that I bought ages ago that Jake and I want to make like little phone keychain thingies with. No. And then, <laughs> you see, to, oh, he wants to make a bracelet. Mm -hmm. um, and then I bought, oh shit. I bought this, oh my god, this is a disaster. Um, I got this to hang up like bracelets and stuff. I feel like that'll be good to Who have on my cocktail, cocktail. cocktail kit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Tommy's margarita. I love Tommy's margaritas. And my first one when we came here for lunch the other week. Mm. I do really like the black. Oh. Like the logo, it looks really good. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then, from La Visa. They just gave me some of these to keep my ears nice and protected. Um, and then these are for Jake. And then I just got these, I thought they were cute. Some bangles and then these little earrings I thought were super cute as well. I'm exposing myself. I am fake wearing this out. I'm kidding, I'm just wearing it to get a photo, but I'm probably gonna wear this to my friend's birthday in a few weeks. I just feel like it is such a vibe, so cute. Um, everything is from Pretty Little Thing, actually. So, yeah, I showed you guys this yesterday. Um, but how cute is it? You can obviously wear, like, chicken fillets or something, like, underneath if you want. But I just love it. The shoes are Pretty Little Thing as well. And then so is the bag. But big vibe. I really, really love this dress. I feel like it's, like, perfect for any, like, season as well. Like, because you've covered up top, you're, like, semi-warm for winter. But you could also wear it in, like, summer too. So... Love this one. I'm all done with my photos, which is really good. I got like three or four, which is epic. I was meant to get a heap more tonight. But like I mentioned before, we're actually staying an extra night, which is so exciting because it means that we can switch off now, go to bed um, and live our best lives. We're actually going to order Uber Eats for dinner. I really wanted to go to Same Same for dinner, but they were fully booked out. So we're gonna go there tomorrow night instead. And then we're just gonna have like a chill night tonight. I think we're gonna order the pickle. 
we love the pickle and we never get a chance to get it because it doesn't like it's not anywhere near us so really excited about that and they have it on uber eats so we don't have to leave jake and i are honestly like the biggest homebodies like we we literally love just like laying in bed watching a movie ordering uber eats so that is on the agenda for tonight um but yeah we're gonna watch there's actually some really good movies on here there's like what is there jake godzilla yeah King kong there's like quite a few really good ones sorry i'm not sure what keeps happening with the light um but yeah we're gonna do that now i'm gonna have a shower take all my makeup off take my tan off i didn't take my tan off while i was getting photos because um i didn't want to you know how it like washes off before it actually develops i didn't want it to not be tan if that makes sense so it's like really dark it's actually a bit concerning um but i'm just gonna have to like deal with it and see what i can do but yeah i'm gonna shower now take all my makeup off get into bed and put on ruby exciting times a little bit of insta first <laughs> reality right now this is going down i got the mash mash city bish um <laughs> Burger, it's literally got like mashed potato and shit on it. Jake got the fish taco one, and then we also got some fries. And we're just going to watch a movie. We won't focus, but this literally has like chips and shit in it. So good. Good morning, guys. We are up bright and early. It's 5 a.m. Um, because we're actually going to go back home to do our workouts, um, even though. We're on a little work holiday. Um, we really want to have good workouts because obviously we were in lockdown last week. Today's Monday and we know that we'll just have better workouts back at our usual gyms rather than at the gym here. The gym here is beautiful, but yeah, Jake trains at World Gym, which is obviously like 10 times better than any hotel gym. Um, and then I'm just going to go to PLC, smash out a workout and a nice big walk. And I also forgot um, my shoes. So we're gonna quickly duck back in home so I can get my shoes. So that was a bit silly of me. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for this morning. Show you guys my little outfit. I'm sure on this one actually. Um, I'm just wearing my Princess Polly jumper. Um, my discount code is Ali20. This is from my most recent haul. It's actually so cute. Yeezy slides, sockets, looking extra cute. Um, and then my active wear is just slinky. It's like a chalky color, it's so cute. Um, my ears are like so red. I had the worst sleep. Um, sleeping on new piercings is like the most fucked up thing ever. I literally don't think I even slept. Like it doesn't feel like I slept. I feel like I just like felt the pain all night long. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go smash out a workout now and then I'll check in with you guys later. I thought I would check in with you and fill you in on what we've been up to, which is not a whole lot. We've literally just been getting photos and content in the room. That's pretty much it. Jake has been soldiering on, being the best photographer for me. Um, but yeah, the weather's actually really nice outside, which is making our lives so much easier because it means the lighting's really nice in here. Um, but we just ordered some food for lunch. We were gonna go out for lunch, but we honestly just don't have the time for that. So we just ordered it here. Um, what did we get? Do you wanna grab it out? We've got Community <laughs> Cantina. Which I'm very excited about. We got some of their like bowls or whatever. Oh, okay, guys. yours looks so good. Oh, the lights trash there. Mm, yum. Did you get sour cream? Um, Every time yeah. Around cutlery, you can use yeah, they never bring it. Hey, it's so frustrating. Um, so Jake got abundance bowl. Abundance bowl, which looks so good. Add chicken, so it's like quinoa, sweet potato. Um, tortilla chips and stuff, and then I got the like, Mexican bowl. Oh, why can I never do this? With one hand. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I got the Mexican bowl. So I got, it's like corn, jalapenos, tomato, guac, sour cream, quinoa, braised beef, and black beans as well. Looks so good. Oh, this is so good. It's literally just full of like yumminess. Is it actually so good? Yeah, it's really good. Is it like a sombrero top? Mm, better. Better? Mm. Like the sombrero one's really good. Oh, I don't know. Zambrero's is pretty good. I love the, like Zambrero's rice. Mm. But. That one, does that one just like? No, it's good. The beef is better. But there's no sauce in this. Yeah. It was meant to be chipotle, but can't see any. Yeah, She seems to be missing. Look how pretty. 
it is this evening. Oh my god. <laughs> Can this just be like a be through or something? I mean, that'd be a lot more rowdy. Maybe somewhere a little bit more chill. But what a stunning afternoon in Brisbane. It's actually so calm here because it's like a Monday now. But oh, it's like such a lovely temp outside as well. Can I just like move in here? please that would be so great the pool looks so pretty at nighttime as well we're going to same time for dinner um which is like i think it's in that building there no that one so excited it's gonna be so good i've been meaning to go there for so long oh stop um jake and i oh there he is you see him in there jake and i were just watching a movie what are your thoughts on the movie uh, top three worst movies I've ever seen. It was terrible. Uh, what was it called? Godzilla vs. Kong. Oh. Whatever. Guys, we just did that for you. Don't watch it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Do not watch it. Are you ready for dinner? Are you excited? Let's do it. Finally going to same same. Jake has been without me. It's kind of like a banquet. I feel like night. you don't Someone's really remember like... it. I don't really remember it either. Yeah, I feel like you're like, like too focused on the drinks. <laughs> so that's great help. Um, but yeah, I've honestly wanted to go here since it's open, but it's never available. And I always go to book it last minute, so that's my bad. If I was more organized, it would be fine. Um, Jake's wearing a sweat sample. So little Probably not gonna. I don't know if it'll do. We'll see. We'll see. See about that. I have my hair in a nice. Sleek bun, I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm just wearing these jeans from Meshki. They could do with a wash and a steam, to be honest. Um, and then this top is just from Pretty Little Thing. Such a cute little staple top. Bag is Pretty Little Thing as well. But yeah, these jeans are good because they're like kind of baggy around here. So lots of room to eat. <laughs> outfit details for you. My outfit details? Yeah. So we got... <laughs> Sweat sample crew neck. Yeah. Some random Kmart beanie maybe. Yeah. Some little jewels. Bedazzled. Tings. A white t shirt. Is that yours? Sweat signature Sweet. blank. Oh, very nice. Some. What jeans uh, are they? They're from Fast Times. Oh, yeah. They're just like. Some Norse baggy ones. I cut, cut this bad boy. Okay. You edgy stuff. Speed it up. And Hurry then, up, man. Um, no one actually mocha. cares. <laughs> Very nice. Happy days. <laughs> oh, P.S. My shoes are PL PLT. Pretty little thing. Got the soft shell bow buns. These are chicken and sriracha slides. It's my hot day. <laughs> we got the chicken fried rice. Oh, yeah, chicken fried rice. We got about it for a second there. Um, and then the turmeric corn curry. And then this is a tofu patsy ooh, and it looks so yummy. It has like the really big like fat patsy ooh. Yeah, I did. These are literally Yeah, um, like, like did you say they're like sausages. <laughs> Flash on. So Content cream. queen. Yeah. I got what flavor was it? It's like the peanut. How butter. now brown cow? Like, yeah, it was like a special. It's true, like too um blurry. Oh, we have so much takeaway. How do I eat this and go inside? Do I have to eat it before I go upstairs? If you're eating it, it's probably sweet. You reckon? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's pretty really cold. I might make it upstairs. Yeah, all right. We're just watching the Tomorrow War on Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Dinner was really good by the way, would recommend. Good morning guys, so we're actually about to check out. I've been really slack on the vlog as per usual, but we've been busy working. What are you doing? I thought that was you breathing. He's like drinking out of a water bottle and I was like, are you okay? Did you guys hear that? I feel like it sounded like he was like really struggling to breathe. Um, but yeah, this morning we... Makeup all over my shirt, yeah, probably. Um, yeah, we went back home, went and did a workout, and then it came back, got ready, and then I got a heap of photos again. I literally got so many. 
I'm very impressed with our efforts. I think I literally got like at least 10 over the past three days, which is amazing. Um, and probably more to be honest. That's so unheard. that is literally unheard of. So we did really good. It was well worth it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check out now. So I thought I'd sign off this video. It's now Tuesday today. So well and truly into the next week. I have a really exciting day tomorrow. I'm finally getting my bonding done on my teeth. So I'll bring you guys along for that in next week's video. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us on our little stay cage. Jake, do you wanna say goodbye? Bye. Say bye.